With over 25 years of experience in technology and international business development, Valerie Ite specializes in using design thinking and impact technology to harness innovations and to create a sustainable future for all. Her passion lies in developing strategies that combine business-driving results with a circular economy and impactful sustainable initiatives supported by the latest science and technology. She believes that innovation thrives on collaboration. Her wealth of international experience in IT products, marketing, and business innovations lead her to pivotal roles in ventures such as telco company Orange, Jamalto's acquisition of NetSize, and Index acquisition of Haiku. Committed to sustainable development goals since 2017, she was born at 325 ppm, parts per million of carbon dioxide compared to oxygen. Today, I'm, uh, I really want to speak about what is the um, value-based innovation, but really in the context of um, circular economy, okay? Because circular economy is the only way that we can have, really, to make a change in, um, in how we are consuming and how we are doing things. So what is really circular economy? Just to try to change some things that we were doing in the past is that I make a product, and this product is going to die. Okay, but we didn't think about how it's going to die into our planet. We didn't think about the design. We didn't think about the business model. We didn't think what will happen to this product when it's finished. Okay, so uh, what is very important today is that climate change same something um, between humanity. If we don't do it, it's like we don't focalize in how we are biologically done for our planet, and that the planet there is not a B one. We only have one and she is limited. Okay, so she is not unlimited and we can do whatever we want all the time as we were thinking in the past. No, she is limited. So we need to think in different way of doing things. Okay, today we are 8 billions of people in our planet. That's a huge, we have a lot, a lot of waste everywhere because we didn't take care of how we are going to make some new products and how we were ending them. So we can say that we have a lot of problem in textile sector, that we have so many types of textile everywhere. We have a lot of plastic everywhere that now we know that is even in the mother and also in our blood in more than 170 co country, we have it in water that we are drinking. So it's very important. All our lands are intoxicated and also horses. So it's really the day that we need to do something and to try to change how we are doing the things in a way of value-based innovation. When we see, um, we uh, almost a year, all the time we consume what stay in the planet, okay? That means that we are boring to other generation. And that's very grave because we need to take care about this kind of things for the future of the generation. So how we can do that? There is a lot of people that are speaking about uh, natural basing and the new uh, company, how they are doing this startup and everything. I think what is very, very important and that something that we're going to see a lot more in, um, in, an, uh, in our new startup and company is an LCA, which is life cycle assessment. Okay, That's the only way to prove what you are doing in your product. Okay, the first thing is that you need to take care about the design, because if you think at the design of one product or one service or whatever you are thinking to do, um, and you don't think about the end, you make a mistake. You cannot compare with what there is today. For example, if you use a life cycle assessment for a natural basing uh, product, you need to compare it with what is not natural compared, for example. So we see if it's a natural, like a Pinatex that use a pineapple a skin to make shoes, for example, they need to compare with a shoe that is made with a plastic and fossil based um, um, a product. Okay, so what we, we learn with a life assessment cycle is that you need to take care about one, how you are doing a product, the design, and this is very proper of, one, of a human because we are the only ones that have so many creativity and imagination to make product that if we really think of how we are doing the product before it's going to die, we can do it beautifully. 
Okay. The second thing that we need to take care of is the business model. So now we can see that with this value-based innovation, we are thinking about new type of products, so new type of services. We are making leasing. We are making a, a new way of services, for example, a lot of services that choose and we can reuse things, we can repair things, we can try to make them a new life, for example. And we are so creative, humans are so creative that we can really, we just have to do and think about it to succeed it. And the second, the third thing that is very important in a LCA is a community. Community, because the community is the only way that we have to give away this passion, to give this knowledge, and to foster that people are going to collaborate uh, together. That is very important. So there is also something that is very important because we are speaking about uh, damaging in climate change and uh, um, this vision of base innovation. So we need to take care about land and we need to take care about the sea. Why? Because the sea, it's more than 80% of our planet, and that's very important. For example, last week in Barcelona, we have the UN uh, Ocean Decade, where they put a lot of challenge, um, trying a lot of startup uh, organization, uh, NGO, uh, um, startup, big company, all together were trying to look at the challenge that we have today with taking care about the water, uh, actually. So we can see that there is like 10 challenges. The first will be marine pollution. Okay, we know that there is a lot of plastic and we need to find solution, but also to find new basic solution with, uh, with product. Second is to take care of the ecosystem and bio biodiversity, I will say, like the mangrove that uh, was we were saying uh, uh, before, because they are recuperating carbon and they are using a big, a, a big uh, achievement in uh, taking care of the planet and the sea. We have also the corals that we can make new biodiversity inside. So other things that we can see is we need to take care about uh, the warning problems that we have with the sea in terms of warning hypopsepsia or uh, acidity that we have in the in the sea. So we have a lot of solutions and startups that are working also in this kind of solution. We need to make communities. We have so many uh, people doing uh, cleanups and trying to show with literacy of what we need to do and to explain what is a problem, what we need to take care about the waste, what we don't we don't have to use so many plastic and taking care of what is going on into the sea. So that's the part of the community that I think that we have like sustainable um, ocean alliance. We have. Um, so many big uh, associations doing something in this way that we can check what they are doing and try to make the same with them as a community. Um, we also need to take care about digital because digital is not is not a hand, it's um, a help. Digital can help us to take care about the data and to see where it's coming from, for example, um, the the toxic toxicity in in the sea and what we can we can do with it. Um, and at the end, I think we need to learn and uh, and to um, uh, to make with this community that every people can understand what is the climate change, what we have to take care about the water, and how we can try to make a better world taking care of the water. The reason why, for example, in Barcelona, in the Mediterranean, is something that is very important because we are a lot of cities that are so close by the sea that is very important because if we don't do that, tomorrow these cities will disappear. And that's very important that we take a new a new way and uh, listening and be to all together in collaboration to have a new solution. So in this uh, slide, you can see, for example, I'm going to speak about what we are doing. We are trying to avoid what is uh, polypropylene. Today, we are uh, taking care of the sea with something that damage the sea, which is polypropylene plastic. So we need to find a new solution that is more uh, with materials that don't damage the sea more than benefits. Okay, so in this case, we I'm speaking about click recycle, and we are using uh, hair in order to um, decontaminate uh, water. But it's not so easy because you can say, okay, I take hair and I put it in somewhere in the sea. But what you will do after with this? Because if it's to burn and use biodegradation, you are doing you are keeping um, something in one part but damaging in the other part. So this is not serves is not serving. You need to find solutions that what you will do after with this product, how it's going to end. That's what we were speaking before of a life cycle assessment. Community. 
So community, we have so many things that we can do. Uh, in this case, we can speak about a lot of uh, companies that are trying to involve their uh, provider, their customer, and to try to make a nice community, give them the impact, and that they can understand also what are the impact, what are the SDG, uh, how can I help in the LDG, what is the impact that I have every day in my business. So all of this, a lot of companies are doing the, this actually, like for example, OP uh, in Spain that just uh, opened a new um, platform and the name is uptown I, uh, uh, .org. It's crazy because they will help communities to try to get involved all together with a kind of topic and trying to find new solution and locally. And that's very important. This is something that can be made everywhere and where we can take care about uh, all this change. What is also very important and I love is heart because I think that art is a way of Giving is like the music. It's a way that everybody can hear and listen um, about something that is beautiful and that makes you conscientiously about what is happening. So as an example, I put this fish that you were built by a man and after making open source in order that you make this kind of fish in a, in a beaches, for example. And when you see it, you say, okay, I'm not going to, to throw away my plastic bottle. Because when you see that, it remember you something. You remember why and why you have to do so. So it's very important in this way of resilience, of um, uh, adaptation, and how uh, a co-design of solution can be the solution also between all the community. Okay. We were speaking also about uh, digital and technology. So uh, technology is a highlight. Uh, technology helps you in uh, value basis innovation of demonstrate. You will demonstrate, science will demonstrate, and technology will help you with data. Because it's very important. If we don't know, we cannot, we, we don't know what solution we can implement. So in this place, I'm speaking about a new technology that are using, for example, sensors, IoT, uh, and other way of giving data. Imagine that we have a port, and this port can have uh, sensors everywhere where there is, for example, the contamination, but not only one one port, second, three. So like this, with all the data that we will get uh, recuperating, we will be able to demonstrate where is going the pollution. She's coming from the, the city, she's coming from bots, she's coming from big uh, crossing uh, bots, uh, and we will be able to take decision and also to have a prevention because sometimes it's good to find a solution, but perhaps sometimes it's better to make prevention and this, we don't have to find a solution to resolve a problem because we take care in front on the prevention of, of the disease, for example, could be also. So in this place, we know that now we are using a lot of, of um, technology and this technology and data can help us to prove and to take better um, uh, decision in how we can take care about our planet in land, but also in sea. In land, you can check, for example, water, the need of water, uh, if it's better to use a plastic or something else as a product, because sensors will help you to demonstrate. If we don't have it, we need to believe about something, we say something. And the best is that you ally technology and science in order to be sure of where we are going. Where we were speaking also in education and awareness, it's very important because if we don't educate, uh, there is no solution. So in this place, there is a lot that after I will speak with you about kind of um, solutions that there is today. Uh, I I request and I I'm, I went in a big um, um, uh, uh, how can I say I lose my word um, a, a big um, a, a conference that was held in in Paris. The name is Change Now. Uh, I, I, you should look at it because you have a lot of startup and it was crazy. So a lot of uh, solutions that there is, for example, in Nantes, you have um, a lot of uh, startups that are taking care about how we can make in farmer, how we can make a community um, and also in the sea, how we can eliminate the plastic, how there is robotics and, and the rest. And in the term of education, it's also a lot of communities are coming uh, together to make a new uh, solution on this. So for example, one that uh, make my mind is Sulfist Impact, which is in France, for example, and they built a way of doing something uh, in a way to give this knowledge, like a TOEFL, 
you know, when we learn English and you pass this um, examination, you have like a TOEFL and it's the same, but giving it to population to know what what is my knowledge in, in climate change? What what is my knowledge in circular economy? What is my knowledge in the impact that I'm doing every day when I take my car instead of a bike, for example? And that's making what is we call today sharing platform, sharing platform of this uh, community, of this education and these uh, initiatives that are making a change today. So you can make it in a lot of ways. There is an activist uh, place, there is NGO and other place that is very important, for example, in this kind of education. Without education, we know that we cannot have a solution. The other thing that I think is very important and uh, is a partnership, because if there is no partnership locally and globally, we cannot take and um, uh, try to combat uh, this climate change today. So it's very important that we have like a, um, a community between government bodies, non-government, NGO, foundation, institution, community, startup, big companies, because there is a big challenge. We always say, no, big company, we don't know. And I think big company challenging to change because they are very slow and it's hard to make a change. So they just ally with a startup and this makes them have the rapidity of a startup. And this could be very good in order to take and get a, a championship of the conversation of, of the cause where we can really try to achieve the result that we need today. So it's very important also that we are able to make this partnership collaboration of co or cooperation in all the, the value chains that we have in our communities. We also need to take care about the long-term perspective and not going so uh, quick and taking care about the short time because short times is like um, uh, um, bread for today and uh, uh, anger for tomorrow. So it's very important that we try to take something that is uh, when we think or we uh, make a partnership or when we try to have a new solution is to think in a long term perspective, not in a short time. So for me, for example, collaboration is short term. Cooperation is long term. So this kind of we will finish with this conversation, but it's very important to try to take and to think when we make a product or we uh, need to make a new program of education that we think in long term, how it will be tomorrow in long term, not not in three months, because this will not really give a change in the way that we need to uh, focalize in the climate change that we have today, because it's what we were doing in the past and we still have the same problem. Even if we are more and more speaking about it and more and more um, shareholders trying to make solution, it's really uh, important for the adaptation that we think about long term and not short term. So in this, for example, we know that there is plugging that came from plugging is taking trash with a, a sport. I think sport will uh, have a huge uh, effort, the same as uh, art, for example, in this kind of uh, um, evaluated based innovation. It's very important because if not, uh, it's something that is proper of, of the human, you know, the sport, art, and way of doing is very important the way of, and showing our creativity and our imagination as hum human beings. So in this picture, you can see, for example, that we use biodegradable uh, plastic and biodegradable is, uh, plastic is not biodegradable. And so that's why we say we use words that are not the true definition, but we're using for a short term. But if we take a long term, we know that it's not biodegradable because it will not be biodegradable. You need to find other solutions that are real biodegradable. Okay, so that's just an example, but we have a lot in, 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 uh, in other fields. So for me, um, that's a sentence that I will say, value-based innovation is crucial for business fostering ethical operation, positive re uh, reputation, employee engagement, employee and societal benefits. We need to be all together and trying to make it for a long term. That's the only way that we can mitigate risk, ensure compliance, promote sustainability. For this, we need to be, um, don't, don't have afraid of innovation because innovation or technology 
um, it's just an allied. It's not. It's not a hand. It's an allied. Science. It's a proof. When we we have a science behind, we prove what we are doing. So that's very important. And after we need to, as I was saying before, taking care about design. Design is very important in how we are making things beautiful and how we can make a practicable uh, a product. is very is very important. And all is to try to make in in a social good. Social good is very important in the way of uh, all together is not for tomorrow, but all together we only have one planet. If we are in the south, in the north, east or west, it's the same. Because if we don't take care, we will have the same problem at the end. So I was thinking at the end in something um, about, do you know what is um, the difference between collaboration and what is uh, uh, the difference with collaboration and cooperation? for example. So it's uh, also something that is very important for me because it's showing today um, where is this difference? Uh, what is collaboration and what is cooperation? Collaboration is short term. Cooperation is long term. Collaboration is only on the business. Cooperation is everywhere. It could be for um, playing, for games, for uh, social, for something local where you can help your neighborhood in something you can repair. You oh, uh, for example, there is a lot of new technology that I love. That is not. I'm not going to sell you something. I'm going to give you these things. You know why? Because I'm not going to use it. So this is a way also to show the difference of what we were saying in value-based innovation, a new business business model. Why do we have to sell? Perhaps we just have to give instead of selling. That's a solution because we have so many things. So why I, I'm not going to give? And you make a subscription about this and I give that to you for free because uh, I don't going to use it anymore. So that's a new way of thinking. And I think that human, we are very like ants, you know, that are working for biological and making effort together to build something together. And I, I am sure that the new generation with education and if we all think together uh, in the force that have the human, we will succeed it. So thank you very much. And um, I didn't have time to give you so much uh, example, but hopefully uh, one day I can uh, give another one and we'll focalize only in uh, example like Pantagonia, for example, and the new shop that it just opened where there is uh, books, what we do, events and everything. And I think big corporations are key to show what they are doing. And uh, I will make a, a king of my to have seats of the future, for example, that are doing this also. And big companies like LVMH also are doing this kind of things with the terroir and trying to help. So we don't need to think only NGO. No, we need to think all players, big companies, yeah. NGO and everything. Thank you. <laughs>